Welcome to EVE Online, I'm Major Freak. We're doing graphics right now. The latest I've got, I've pushed the envelope as much as I can. I'll uh, bring it up here. This is what I've got. And I'll set this one to default uh, for memory, which I used to do a lot for, and it recommends for multiple clients. So we'll see the difference of what I could push my my machine and what they've had arbitrarily forever for their memory and stuff so I suspect they were like yeah it looks good job done um, all right so drone models trails GPU and depth of field have been turned off low quality characters and low texture quality and we've got disabled, that's, I believe I disabled it too. Um, the shadow quality and ambient seclusion and reflections are all off because the shader quality is set to low. Okay. Texture quality is set to low. Volumetrics is set to low. So volumetrics is low for myself. Um, I want to test that with some missiles and see if they miss different missile types have the pretty effects or if it's dulled if so I'll move it to medium but I'm just hoping that's uh, that's cool post-processing log quality sh shadow qual sh really shadow quality hurts my machine um, and volumetrics kind of does I'd like to put it to medium but it does affect the machine so I, I want to keep it low unless I'm missing out on some really cool missile effects, right? So that's the way it is. That's what it looks like. I'll flip it back and forth. So as you can see, log quality is medium. I don't want log quality at all. Um, no way. Um, I'm cool with upping. I'll take the sacrifice in log quality for getting way better shaded quality and way better texture quality for sure absolutely and I like the ambient occlusion it's disabled on that one and I can take it I can take medium and ambient occlusion without too much issue I think it's worth doing the reflections in ambient occlusion I don't really know what they're about yet but if I can push something without stalling the computer too much uh, and leave it functional Eventually, I'll figure out what it is and decide then. But for now, it's not hurting the computer too much. So uh, those both medium. Yeah, and there you go. Uh, and of course, I've got it on high and high quality character stuff. Um, yeah, the depth of field is enabled and the GPU trails and drill models, which of course would be great to see because it's always fun to look at one of your drones and then with your orbit camera and track something else it's always cool especially when you're making videos uh, v-sync is off thanks to dmx 007 um, he suggested that I wasn't gonna touch it but he says it does improve gameplay so uh, UI scaling is 90% yeah you're welcome um, and user interface i always disable the window blur it's horrible it, it it would be great if it was uh enabled for station only that would be great i'd totally do it for that but yeah i, I need some functionality and the ability to not notice that there's a window there when i'm when i'm looking around space i can pretend it's not there all right and the audio I've got it 50% for master level, 50% for world, 25% for UI, and then for music, zero, not low. Unfortunately, there's no way to independently toggle music off. So every once in a while, your game is going to freeze for a split second. That's the music track switching over to the next one. Yeah, we used to be able to tell CCP, hey, look, the jukebox, uh, when it switches tracks, it, uh, there's a freeze, the and they got rid of the jukebox. Hmm. Right? Oh, it's too much coding problem. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Atmosphere, 
jump activation 50% and no changes from last time except I think I moved yeah there's one change I moved down UI click from 50 to 25 I might consider moving them down some of them down to 10% uh, but yeah I'm still playing with it um, you know I'm trying to keep all the sound on on all my clients which is yeah a big risk of course um, so inactive muting, client muting, it means that when I switch to this one, anything ticked will be muted. So I go here, anything that's here will be muted. I tend to, uh, I tend to use armor, uh, doctrine a lot, so I mute the shield warning. And, uh... Um, jumping is the the gate flash you want to listen to you know if you have somebody on your other client inactive listening or is at a gate watching uh, you want to hear the gate flash but not the stargate hum uh, wormhole hum too but it's the it's the gate flash you're trying to listen for explosions and impacts I'm really not sure what those are uh, so I'm gonna leave it as is I haven't really delved into those two. I have no clue what impacts are. I can guess what explosions are. They're not missile explosions. I know, that's funny, isn't it? I know, it is. Um, and uh, yeah, this is uh, structure, stru stations, interior, and structure, ambience, uh, stations, interior, all, all muted when you move to another client or go to a web browser, right? All right, uh, that's it for that. Um, I will put the description of um, all the stuff, what what I know so far. I'll link it in the description. The hotkeys for the, um, I've got, uh, well, I, I, made a, I made a video about that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I'll, uh, I'll link that into the description as, of this as well. Uh, if you're inter interested in what my hockeys are, um, I uploaded an image on that. I'll briefly show you. Uh, ah, there we go. Yeah, um, broadcasts, regroup, um, remove all broadcast icons from uh, watch list. All the drone commands, toggle off brackets, um, or hold is the apps key. But I press apps key and, and nothing comes up uh, outside of Eve. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to use that key. Uh, probe controls, you know, uh, scan probes. Uh, Descan button for sure. One key. Yes, please. <laughs> Duh. Um, autopilot is control plus space. Undock is alt plus space. The stop button is middle mouse button, your scroll wheel. Just click it. Um, and uh, reload all weapons up here. All the tags you ever wanted and targets and untarget, uh, un unlock all targets. That's my favorite button. Character sheet and um, got a few other. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's a brief look at it. Yeah, um, I hate tooltips. I absolutely loathe the uh, radial menu. So sorry about that. Um, yeah. Dynamic camera movement. Uh, I find if you ever see my videos and I'm tracking something uh, with the camera and my ship is off to the left, uh, that's dynamic camera movement. It's a bit annoying sometimes when you undock with uh, orbit camera because you'll be staring at the undock. So it's annoying, but uh, I've come to accept it. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, hopefully that helps. I tend to have brightness as is. I have played with it before, but I've never been happy. I like the default. All right, 
There you go. Hope that helps. Yeah, um, really enjoy it. It uh, it works well. I can zoom in and everything will be faded. That's depth of field. I zoom out, I can see stuff. And yeah, the, the medium shader and the medium texture really bring out a lot of detail that you're, you miss um, when you're on, yeah, when you're on <laughs> uh, memory optimization. So this is my new iteration of memory optimization that you should use. I think you'll really enjoy it and you won't have a, you will have a few issues but my my uh, my yeah so this is my processor core uh, this is my display so it's it's potato pretty much so if you're running this kind of gear and hoping to get some, you know, multiple clients running at the same time, use this. <laughs>